came across this story right here on my homepage, and this is like the goofiness and uh, silliness that we talk about often. And if you felt like we didn't talk about it often, it needs to be talking about more. Of how someone so young can throw their life away over something so intangible. So in this picture, you see someone by the name of Cassius Von Hansey. And he was arrested because he was involved with a drive-by that turned fatal over a pair of Jordans. When I think about this, it takes me back to when I was a child or when I was a teenager in high school and how people would get into it over uh, over a pair of J's and everything like that. Thankfully, I never came across anybody who actually got injured or died in that fashion because of that. But um, usually it was never that deep. It still isn't. But this kid right here, he's only 16. He might have thrown his entire life away over an intangible object. And this is coming out of Mississippi. A teenager is behind bars after police say he fatally shot someone over a pair of Jordans. Cassius Von Hansey was initially arrested by Gulfport police on a charge of a drive-by shooting. Police responded to the 100 block of 29th Street just after 11 p.m. Saturday to report a shooting. During the investigation, police say they learned 16-year-old Hansey shot a gun multiple times from a vehicle hitting a 17-year-old. The victim was taken to a hospital where he eventually died from his injuries. Police say the shooting came after a fight early on Saturday over a pair of Jordan athletic shoes. WLOX is a waiting word from the Gulfport, I'm sorry, Gulfport police on upgraded charges and bond in light of the victim's death. And that's the most recent article, the one that I just read, because there was other articles that were posted, um, but they're a little bit older. His life is done. If they come, if they find him guilty, he's done. He's done. Like, for what? For some shoes. Like, that's stupid. And I think what makes this even worse after reading that article is finding out that the victim was one year older than him. So that's two lives gone. So young. The victim was 17. His life is gone. He's not coming back. He He's seven. He's 16. He threw his life away by taking someone else out over some damn shoes. Over some shoes. Like you literally threw your whole life away by taking out someone else over something that you wear on your feet. And then how many times are you going to wear it? And now here's the thing. You go to jail. You ain't going to have no J's in jail. You got to wear the same shoe as everybody else. No uniqueness behind bars. You got to wear the same prison colors from head well, from you from head to toe. Now you're really going to be looking like everybody else. And nobody in jail is wearing J's. So you kill somebody over something that you most likely will not ever wear again. I mean, I hope it was worth it. As silly and retarded and ignorant as it is. Now a family has to bury their child and another family has to potentially say goodbye to theirs because they about to be in jail most likely for the rest of their life. But let me offer my condolences to the um the victim's family. Like that's crazy. And they say he he killed them in a drive by. A drive by. That's that's crazy.